Hello, fellow Kerbinats. My name is Ninja here, and I have a gigantic surprise for you guys. Version 18 has just been released, and everybody knows what that means. I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means, too. Docking. Oh, yes, have I been waiting for docking. I've always wanted to dock ever since I played this game, and I was like, when will I ever have docking? And they finally have docking. I, 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 I've been waiting for a long time. So, on on the last episode, I was trying to make a space plan or space plane uh, from a, from the vertical standpoint and trying to get to a orbit, but it failed miserably. It uh, it didn't want to stay straight, and after it got like a certain altitude, it just just failed. Just and then I, I tried to decouple it and try to get recover from it, but that didn't happen at all. Just just utter failure just failure all over the place so since the new version 18 has came out I wanted to take this episode and just kind of talk to you guys about the the new the new parts what's what's gonna be in the future for this let's play series because I thought that the version 18 was gonna come out maybe late December probably January but it's here now so <laughs> can't really prepare for it so yeah um, let's get started. Now, I uh, I made a save, but uh, I'm going to delete it. Um, I, I was kind of playing around with uh, earlier. Um, I made a video earlier, but the sound did not record. So, yeah, it uh, I, I talked into a mic for thirty something minutes, and uh, all I had is just no audio. And I'm like, oh, God damn it! So I had to do everything all over again. So. Um, unfortunately, I do know what the parts are, but great for you is you guys probably know it. Maybe not. Most of you probably don't, but thank God you're watching because I will help you understand all these parts. I hopefully. I mean, I kind of don't know what all the parts are, so <laughs> I may be in the same boat as you guys. Not good. Not good at all. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, there's four new parts. Um. The three on the bottom. These uh, whoa, um, these right here. Uh, what else do we got uh, in this part as well? These are the four new parts that we have. Very very awesome parts. Um, these three right here, where are the um are the satellites? Basically, the, these are the satellite parts. Unmanned people. Uh, you can use. With your spaceship and send probes and study study other planets and see if there's any life form. Maybe there's more stranded Kerbals on different planets. We we don't know yet. Maybe they had a secret mission that we don't know and Jebediah is probably stranded and we got to go fetch him. Who knows? Um, and then oh 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 that's that was the main. Let's uh, these parts back. Um, what else do we got? Uh, let's uh, we got. So let's uh, let's just let's just let's go over all the parts that we have. I feel I feel that's a good thing to do. Is, uh, let you guys know what the parts do and understand a little bit more. So when you guys try it on your own, you kind of have a feel for how to do it. So you're not looking at it and be like, uh, uh, what 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 do I do? So I'm here to help you, okay? So um, a lot of a lot of the stuff has been redone. The fuel tanks have been redone. Um, nice textures to it, rivets. Um, there's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's kind of scars and nicks, and um, in the big one, there's a lot. There's a nick right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of scratches on it. Um, it looks cool. It looks like already used, you know. Um, I think. Yeah, there's there's scratches and dents, which is kind of cool. It makes a makes it a little bit more realistic, right? It's it's a it's a simulator game, so gotta make it as realistic as possible. <laughs> that is always a good thing. Um, new parts, uh, tons, tons of new parts. Uh, everything got pretty much redone. Basically, basically what we have here is Kerbal 2.0. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see Kerbal 2.0. What else do we got? Um, 
all the, all the, like I said, all the parts got redone. Um, that got redone. The uh, the two main engines, the 200 Express and the 215 Express, uh, got redone too. So they look. Whoa. Um, I'll, you just saw that. I'll describe what that actually is really. Um, but all of them got redone. What you just saw there was um, was the, the shrouding. So every time you put an engine on or something on, on the stack or a decoupler, um, it automatically puts a shroud over it. So that's good. Um, avoids having a lot of items over in your uh, over in your staging, so you don't kind of get confused. Uh, just there. Oh, we got the mono propellant. I think this is used. Uh, it's an attachable RCS tank. Mono repellent is stands for uh, R is used for RCS. So, because you guys are probably looking at me like mono repellent propellant. What is that? So, yes, it is used for RCS. So you can have RCS stuff. Um, the engines they use. They use the liquid fuel, which everybody knows, and they also use another thing called oxidizer. Now, oxidizer is a primer. Basically, what it does is it, it acts like a it acts like the the flint on a lighter. It basically, creates a spark that ignites the fuel. Um, what's cool about this update is now you can actually turn on and off these engines. So, in in version 17.1 and all the versions before that. Before 18, uh, once once it's ignited, you can't turn it off. You can only just slow it down. Uh, you can only just turn off your throttle. Uh, but now you can actually have your throttle out 100% and then turn it off. So that's how, that's that's, how it um, that's basically what the oxidizer does. Uh, what else? What else do we got? I know we got I got better parts, more parts, um, smaller um, smaller. Um, The, uh, the radical mount liquid engines are a lot smaller now, so you don't have to have these gigantic bulky bulky items. We have we have the new SAS, all the SAS, the SAS modules have been edited, so you have the the nice to it. You can see the the circuitries and all the wires and and I don't really know what that is, just a circle with a red light in the middle. <laughs> like advanced SAS module. Um, RCS thrusters as well. Um, we got the port and these just the regular, the new really upgraded RCS thrusters. So they're a lot better. Um, we have structures, of course. Uh, the radical, uh, the, ah, sorry, the radical decouplers are new. Uh, they are replacing the other ones. Um, can't can't kind of see it, but you can see it here. It has now it has six points instead of three, and it's twice as big. So that's that's good. You can strap. Let's get the tank and I'll show you. Looks looks a lot better instead of it being really really small. This looks a lot better, a lot cooler. I think it's the same distance, or it's a little bit farther out. Um, I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. We'll have we'll, we'll see in the future. We also have we have the, the bicoupler, so you can actually have evenness and not instead of the tri, which is odd. Um, so you have more thrust on one side than the other. I mean, if you split it, it's basically you basically have the same thrust, but it just yeah, some people. Some people don't like three, they like either two or four. Um, that, that's always good. Uh, stack decouplers, uh, the new stack separators, basically these have injection force and if you wanna, they act as they act as the stack decouplers, but with the decouplers, they actually have an ejection force and it launches whatever you decouple, it flies out to, to, to space and all, all the good stuff. We also have the multi-core connector. This is usually mainly for connecting or expanding or connecting uh, spaceships with docking ports. So you can just add you can add the, the docking procedures to it. Um, 
there's also segments as well, so you can make space satellites, which is what I'm mainly going to do now that version 18 is out. That is always good. I love these. It's going to make an awesome satellite if I go into the, into the air. It's going to have to do a lot of, a lot of parts. It's going to be like 15 separate parts. I'm going to have to dock them all, so bad for me because it's going to take a long time, but good for you because you get to see something amazing. I always like that, seeing something cool being built from scratch. Um, what is new? Ah, the Delta Wings. Oh, yes. Um, instead of having these weird small surface contacts, it's now actually built into the system, so you can... It just doesn't look so goofy. goofy. It looks more realistic. The only thing I'm sad is that they didn't do for the Delta Wings. You actually have to put the, these on. And it just, uh, how can I say, it just looks butt ugly, to be honest. It just, it just, just doesn't look clean, if I can actually get it to match. Uh, well, if it would stay, it just, it just looks ugly, just one side is higher than the other, just, just, just doesn't look nice. It just doesn't look nice. We have, uh, rocket noses, a gigantic rocket nose, um, for these types. I wish it was a pointy, not really round. Um, pointy sounds a lot better than being round, but that's just my opinion. What else do we have? Um, we'll get into air tanks or, or air intakes, intake airs. Um, that uh, now jet engines and stuff require air instead of just uh, just nothing. <laughs> so now it requires air to to uh, Produce uh, your thrust. Um, ooh, 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 something new actually came out with the, the patch. The um, now we have rechargeable battery packs. Now we have electricity in the game for our, all our satellites, and we have we have solar panels. We have um, energy generators. We have different type of solar panels. We have uh, mounted parachutes. A lot different. A lot. A lot smoother, a lot slicker. Uh, a new parachute, bigger parachute. We have the M16 and the M25 and regular M16. Uh, oh, the, the, it says small gear gear bay, but really, um, it increased its size by I think double because it looks a lot bigger than it used to be before. I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, kind of shoot me up a uh, comment and. I will correct my mistake. I sorry if it's true and it's the same size, then I just look like a dork. Um, these are the, the docking ports. These are basically the main items that I will be using in the game. Because if you want to dock with other ships, you need to have at least one of these on each of them. There's that. There's the hitting one, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but right below my mouse, there's the docking port. So the doors open and then it kind of comes out basically it looks like the space shuttle like the space shuttle port that this the space shuttle connects to and then just just cool things too many things and then the new tab called science this is where the accelerate this is where all the gauges are you know can uh, communicate with other stuff um, has uh, gravitational planets we have Looking for negative cannoli particles, uh, atmospheric pressure, and temperature. <laughs> That's always good. I always like to uh, identify planets' temperatures. You know, make it all scientific. You know, we are we are a, um, a corporation, and we need to uh, we need to produce knowledge. And right now, we don't have much knowledge. <laughs> this is bad for a corporation. Um, We're back here. So that is basically there's the battery pack. That basically kind of describes most of the point or all most of the, all the points. Po uh, not points. Sorry, it is it is about five o'clock in the morning. I haven't went to bed, so I apologize for misspelling or missaying words. 
Uh, we have lights now, so if you ever want to go to the dark side of the moon or a planet or something, usually that's usually what happens. We have the lights. We have the less powerful ones and the less powerful ones, and it just makes it a lot easier to see, so that's always good. I will be using a lot of these, too, just because I've always wanted to have lights in the game. <laughs> uh, the Xeon. Xeon is, just, is a new thing. Uh, so it's the electricity and everything. Xeon gas, um, I'm pretty sure, is used for the ion engines. In order for the ion engines to work, it requires Xeon gas, which is this. Uh, it uses electric charge and it uses Xeon gas. And as you can see at the end where it says propellants, that is what the, that is what is required for the for the system or the part to work properly. You need both of those in order to work. And they have the the um, the, the the numbers on the side also uh, indicate how much energy it uses. And I forgot to mention, but the the layout the layout and the just just the information has has cleaned up a lot you know before it just it looked it was it didn't look that good so now it looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer um, most of these parts are made by Nova uh, very big guy makes custom parts for Kerbal now he makes all these parts <laughs> very talented guy I must say very talented I don't know a lot of people who can do this work but in my opinion I think he's pretty good at it that he keeps on making great for Kerbal. I think he's hired by him. I'm not too sure. Um, maybe you guys know. Maybe you guys want to fill me uh, fill me in on that. It'd be nice to actually know some information about this guy. Uh, C. Jenkins also as well made some of these parts, but mostly they're by Nova. <laughs> um, yeah, that basically concludes all the parts. Um, I want to go show. Uh, I wanted to go show you guys the new, the new heads-up display. Oh, I forgot action grouping. Action grouping is very big, very new. Um, makes it more cool. You can actually customize buttons on your keyboard. So if you press it, you can have your landing gears to go out, um, lights to turn on, um, solar panels to to fold in all at the same time so you don't have to keep on clicking it you just hit one button button and it does it for you so if people know what action group or uh, grouping is then you know good for you you're ahead of you're ahead of a lot of other people if you don't I will use this as well I will try to understand it so you're not as confused as I am so when you do see it you're like oh so that's what it is so you're not spending hundreds of hours Probably not hundreds of hours, but a lot of hours just trying to figure it out. Um, that is what I'm here for. Dun, 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 dun. I want to um, I want to build a uh, a quick ship. I want to build a demo ship. You know, I want to um, I want to show you something else. I need a lot of fuel to build this. So let's put some SES on. Let's put some let's put some RTS on. Might as well, right? Let's put some RTS fuel on it. We need a decoupler. Uh, I think I'll use a um, I'll use a new part. I'll use a stack separator. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, we need a. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. So if my voice, if you can't really hear me that good, then I apologize. Kind of keep me quiet so, uh, so people don't wake up. <laughs> Couldn't wait to release this video for you guys. What else do I want? Uh-oh. Do I really want to separate? Oh, yeah. I have a... No, no, no. I want to... I want to put this decoupler back here. Let's, uh... Let's put... Let's put a thruster on. And you will see... You'll see the shrouding here in a second. Boom! There's the shrouding, which is good. So, we got that decoupler. Let's, uh... Let's forget about decouplers. I don't know about decouplers and how they work. Let's... Let's use stack separators. I think I think we might as well use new parts. Why why use old part old part when we can test out new parts? Sounds 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 reasonable, right? Let's put this. Um, I'd go with the number two, but I think I'll try the number three. I I feel like I feel like 
this will give us enough to us to what I really want to show you guys, what I'm really excited about. Oh, here we go. I should actually upload some of it. Maybe it's too much weight. Uh, add some strokes. Add two more. Add three. Okay, that, that looks good. Everything else looks good. Looks good. Activate those. It's a couple. Add temporary to that. Ignition this. Um, separate that. And then the parachutes. Let's put some... Uh, it's just some RCS. We need some RCS, people. We need, we need, we need, we need RCS. Okay, there's some RCS. Um, RCS is huge now. You, you, you can't, you can't dock without it because you need that precise movering. So, if you're not good at using RCS to to move your vehicle in space, um, a word of advice: get really good at it or get good at it. Um, unfortunately, I'm in the boat where I'm. I never really used it in the beginning. When I first played it, never really saw a thing for it until now. Well, a while since I saw version 18 release videos. So, yeah, it's very big. So now I gotta understand how to how to use that correctly. So let's uh let's 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 call this uh, uh Big Daddy Deke. I think that sounds big daddy D. Big daddy D in the house. <laughs> sounded sounded a little bit wrong there. <laughs> I think so. I th yeah, we'll name it that way. Let's let's save it. All right, let's test it out because I really want to show you show you a new new system. Yeah, heads up display is, is a lot new. Uh, it's new, uh, not a lot new. It's it's newer. They added updates. Uh, Boards, uh, lights, gears, brakes. I will. I will tell you how to do that in the future. Unfortunately, I can't get to ev everything. I'm. I'm sorry. Otherwise, you'd be sitting there for five hours trying to figure out. And I'd only be like halfway done explaining everything, and you'd be like, "Oh, I've been sitting here for five hours." So I don't want you guys to sit and be like, "When is this episode ever going to end?" <laughs> so you you have now access to um, resources. So you can have over resources just to let you know how much fuel you have which is good uh, you can you can basically hit these boxes and what it does is I can oops, I can basically get away from that and not even hit and right click I have a view of all of the all the fuel tanks that I have that have oxidizer in there and that shows me how much oxidizer there is it's a, in every single tank Liquid fuel, uh, RCS, the mono uh, pow uh, propellants, and then the electricity. I don't know why fan pods and uh, thrust just have electricity, but I guess, I guess that, that's good. I will get to that. Uh, let's, uh, let's turn all these off. Just kind of, I think I thought they'd be a lot useful in the beginning, but we have Jabraya.
thing. I thought I was supposed to inject with the force. Uh, interesting. Let's try this again. I'm, I'm afraid to hit it. going to increase this and this causes me to increase this thing that I have in orbit. Uh, let me just decrease this a little bit. That was a, that was a lot. That was about right. So my estimate is 22 seconds and I need to burn for exactly one minute. It's only off by 15,000 meters. Um, I can get very close. You can see that over here, over on this side, pretty, pretty close. I mean, it is freaking darn close. I mean, that is close. So you can you can do that all the way around the circle. It's just I burned and kind of messed it up. Um, I'm still learning how to do it all. Um, you can do that. Uh, right clicking this. Oops, clicking it with the left click, you can actually cancel. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, I've already passed it, so I can't really do it. So I can X that, and that gets me into that. Um, a note is that you can add multiple maneuvers. Um, everybody knows, I hope you guys know what all these symbols are, the prograde, retrograde, um, the prograde to the target. Basically, you lock onto a target, and this is what you use to target or to find or to approach a target. Uh, this is to go the opposite way of target. This is to change your your um, your degree, your orbit. So I can do this. What happens is, oh, actually, that rotates it. Um, but interesting. Um, I don't know. I thought that was supposed to do the other way. Um, I'll have to. I think I have it backwards. Uh, I apologize if I'm not making a lot of sense to you. Um, I will describe it a lot, lot more. Uh, what? No, that rotates. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, oh, no. So, actually, I was wrong. I apologize. These are to change your orbits, your orbit procedures, your angles. And this is to 
to change your your spin degree so you can move your move your um your orbit so you can get close to your targets. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't really want to make you guys confused. So clicking it, the the left clicking gets into the this, this menu. If you don't want the um, if you don't want the maneuver, right click it and you just hit the button and it cancels out. Um, you can just do this. Look, well, I'll do a little demonstration. We'll do a little bit of that. Then we'll do a little bit of this. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, this. And then we'll do a little bit of this. So you can, you can add multiple, multiple um, maneuvers. So you can see how they change colors. I don't know all the colors. I actually, I, I think there's unlimited amount of maneuvers you can use, but I don't think you need need 50 maneuvers to get to places. Um, maybe like separate maneuvers, but usually when you're done with the maneuver, basically, you basically want to just cancel it out. Because <laughs> you'll see all these dots and you're like, um, yeah, there's too many dots. I can't see crap. So it's always good to, once you're done with the maneuver, I don't know if it automatically ends the maneuver and just goes away after you cross it. I think I've already crossed it. So, I, um, yeah. So I guess the best way is just to delete it. Um, Big Daddy G in space. Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> Some guy called me Big Daddy D today at work, and I was like, uh white <laughs> no racist intended with that uh, that comment I did if I offended some people I'm, I'm truly sorry I didn't really didn't mean to um, oh ooh, ho, 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 I almost forgot people I ooh, whoops uh, let's kill let's kill that now with this you just kind of see that hey you know um, if you had like 60 of these, you really don't know what they actually are. You have to you have to click them or tab them or something. There's a new feature now. If you click on the pod, the command pod that controls everything, and you say rename vessel, you can rename it in mid-flight. You can change the vessel type by a lander. Here, I'll show you what it is. I'll go back here. Now it looks like a lander icon. I love this thing. Uh, rename vessel. Let's... Uh, I can name it debris, so you know um, it looks like space debris. So you don't have to keep on tabbing, and you know, hey, that's just space debris, and you know, whatever, <laughs> don't want it. Or if you want to blow it up, you can blow it up with another ship. I don't really. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Uh, oops. Um, and uh, change the vessel uh, station. I actually am going to love this. It looks like a, it looks so cool. I actually like that icon. But it's so great is because it describes everything that you need to name your orbit, um, as well as rename it if I want to rename it something. If I want another name instead of having to relaunch it again, uh, I can just name it whatever I want. Um, uh, staging, you can actually change the staging mid-flight, so that's always good in case of a lot of people. Um, including me messed up on staging and you basically get in orbit and you to, and you to stage a, uh, a couple of stage and uh, it throws everything off because then next it just stay or decoupled your your main rocket entry so you're like oh crap and then you have to basically either end the flight or purposely kill <laughs> purposely kill your kerbals so I think Actually, I need to change the icon. Uh, I, I will use these icons because it'd be, it'd be nice, so I'm just going to leave it as a ship. But I am going to make this guy. I am going to make him re-enter. Let's see if that will do it. So let's shrink down this. Right there. Let's Let's do this. So let's, uh, I think, whoa, 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 let's go in the wrong buttons here. <laughs> Estimated burn time, 69 years, 39, 35 days, so that's quite interesting. Might as well, uh, 
whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's kind of get back into position. Oh, forgot to turn SAS on. <laughs> People are wondering why my ship isn't moving. All right. <laughs> Jettison it. We don't have lock gimbal or anything else like that. Yeah. No. Let's uh so that popped up. See, and injected really, really fast. So, yeah, there, there was a, a fuel injection thing, so it was actually Jump ship says up to the map. Um, I think it's just kind of like a quick, quick thing. Uh, I talked about the resources and energy. Um, nothing new, just the IBAs and the EPAs. Uh, nothing new for this other than this and this. I think I actually covered everything that I wanted to cover. So. I think that's uh, I think that's it. So on next time, I will cover some. Uh, 
I'm, I'll cover some plain things and I'll make it plain and I'll show you the, the features and the intake and stuff. So I'll, I'll do that next episode. So I will catch you guys later next time on Kerbal Space Program. Good night.